Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to make something a little bit different. It's going to be some engineers chalk, which is uh, made out of soapstone, but I don't think this is soapstone. Uh, it's, I call it chalkstone, but it's um, it's soft like soapstone. It's probably a sedimentary rock, but I'd have no idea. So we're here at Victoria Hills, and we're going to um, get some of that. to um, take miners down into the mine. Uh, Benigo used to have lots of these and you can see one over there. But there used to be lots of them. I can't remember how many there were, but this landscape used to be a few of them, and there's still a few up. But we're going over there where our rock is located. So this is the rock that we're after. I don't know. You can sort of see that it's soft. And that's what we want right there. Oh. Maybe it's all... <laughs> It's a little too soft, but um, there's different uh, like that, which is the whitest stuff, is really soft. This browner stuff is a little bit harder, and you can see. That's chalky. So, I won't worry about the brown one. We just want a couple of pieces like this. And this will do us. There's a, um, a mine up there. One of them. <laughs> nearly fell. I'll take you to a mine that um, I went into as a kid, me and my cousin. It's an urban legend, I can't remember where we heard it from, but they were saying that there was this really deep mine up here, and it was called Dead Man's Cave. I don't know where that term come from, but this is it. And it wasn't blocked like this when I was younger. And I did go down it. It is very deep. It's very dangerous. Do not recommend it. So, from what I understand, uh, these small mines like that are uh, like exploratory mines where they would pay diggers to dig down where they think um, gold might be found and they're to basically 
basically they were early geologists they were looking for um, rocks and minerals and stuff like that that indicate where there would be a good place to mine I guess so I could be wrong that's just what I what I've heard And now back to the shed so we can make them. So what's the advantage of uh, using engineer's chalk or this stuff that I'm using? It's uh, cheap as you can see. Um, it doesn't matter if it breaks or you know it wears out quick. You just go and get some more. And it's, um, it marks really well on, uh, marks really well on metal and wood and whatever you want to work, work with. And it's not permanent. It can be removed. Don't you come out. Yeah, it can be removed, so... And it's very heat resistant. So it doesn't matter whether you're welding and stuff like that. The mark will still be there. It doesn't burn off. So it's very versatile, very useful. And like those few uh, rocks that I got will make a few sticks, so we're going to be set for a long time. Okay, we're back in the shed and we've got our stone here. And I'll show you some ones that I've had made before. So that's basically what we're going to make. So, let's do it. So these are the bits that I've kept, they're really good pieces, they're going to last a long time and I've got heaps left over, which I'm not going to use now, I'm going to put that into storage and use that at a later date and basically I won't have to go back for six months or more, so all in all, I think it's a good idea, let me know what you think, that's it, I'll catch you around the next one.